as a mom, things can take a very fast turn into the um, insane. I feel like I'm going insane sometimes. Like, how are we going to pay our mortgage? Because my husband lost his job. Work from home, they said. You too can take pictures of bunny rabbit pillows. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Natalie and welcome to a day in my life. I've done a couple of these videos before and you guys seem to like them. I thought I'd make another one for you, but this time I'm joined for the day by my husband Weston who recently got laid off from his job because of everything going on right now. So we're holding down the fort together. In this video, I'm sharing a little bit of everything, some food, parts of my day as a wife and mom of three. I've got some spring cleaning motivation and decorating ideas for you and a big thanks to Grove Collaborative for sponsoring a small portion of today's video and for making it possible to put an extra video out for you all this week. I hope you enjoy it taking a peek into our day as we're isolated here at home in the Seattle area. I hope you feel like you're a little less alone if you're going through the same sort of thing this week with your family. Life is messy, life is beautiful, and I'm here to share it all with you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, if it brings some sunshine into your day. I know we could all use a little bit of that. I love making videos that encourage and share community with other women, moms, and families. So if that's your thing, please subscribe before you leave. And let's get started with my day. The air fills up my lungs and it tickles. Oh, what a joyful feeling I think I'm gonna stay here Under all these rains And soak up the sun Where are you going? Good morning, everybody. I just yawned so my eyes have tears in them. <laughs> Welcome to this day in the life of a mom. I'm gonna get the kiddos up and get them fed and then we'll see how long it takes Weston to roll out of bed this morning. I'm glad he gets to sleep and that man works so hard. He deserves every ounce of extra sleep. Around the corner I'll meet you. Kids are happily munching away on their breakfast. I heard Weston stir, I think he's in the bathroom now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna get started on making us some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna make our um, breakfast burritos that we do a lot. Just we find whatever meats in our fridge, we scramble up some eggs and have them with tortillas and salsa and like kind of whatever we can find. Are you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Can you bring your bowl up please? No, I can't. Good morning. Good morning. You get your beauty rest? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. <laughs> so it's Friday morning, but when dad's home on the weekends, we typically play SpongeBob in the morning. It's just our weekend tradition. And the kids woke up and they're like, dad's here? We get to watch SpongeBob. So we're letting them do it today. With Weston being home for at least the next two weeks, we're gonna have to manage their expectations about SpongeBob in the morning every day that dad is here. But that's what he's starting for them now and I'm gonna keep making our breakfast burritos. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't be fooled. I'm serving Weston right now, but he's usually the one making breakfast on the weekends. It's just he woke up later than what's typical. Coffee is made. I did the hash browns and meat and veggies for our breakfast one. burritos. And Weston, <coughs> egg scrambler extraordinaire. Oh, yeah, me. I just, I just hope you like that. He and Liam are making the eggs. And while they do that, I'm going to go take this chance to get ready. I'm just going to go get dressed. You go. Fix my hair a little bit, fix my face, we'll see what happens. Well, my hair wasn't cooperating, so this is what <laughs> it ended up being. And this is like my five product quick mom makeup. I have tinted moisturizer, bronzer, eyebrow gel, a little bit of eyeliner, and some mascara. 
and that's it. We have coffee and hash, tortillas, eggs, a la Weston, thank you. Uh, and guacamole salsa and lime crema that I made a couple nights ago for taco night. And we have children who are still hungry apparently. I Having second breakfast, my hobbit. Yeah. I look like I'm in a jungle right now. <laughs> finishing up my second little burrito, finishing up my coffee. It takes me a while to get through it. Um, and I'm putting together our to-do list for the day. Notice with the kids not being in school, with us being isolated, and I'm sure it will even be more so with Weston being home now from work, that um, taking time to spend intentional moments with the kids before starting the work for the day um, really sets the tone for the day and it helps them know that they are a priority and that they matter and that we want to spend time with them and we're not just rushing to like the next thing that we have to do because housework will always pile up but time with your kids is very fleeting. So I have this long to-do list and I'm gonna get to it but first, I think I'm gonna go read with them or play a game or a puzzle or something. I'll see what they wanna do, but it's time to turn SpongeBob off. Oh. Do you wanna read a story? Springtime in bear country and brother, sister, and honey bear were thinking about Easter. Actually, they were thinking about Easter candy. They loved Easter candy. There were so many different kinds. Jelly beans, cried honey bear. <laughs> Their Sunday school teacher, Mrs. Ursula, overheard them. I wanna take video. Daddy's taking the garbage out. I wanna see. Hey, where's Wicked and Sam? I'm making a strawberry cake. A strawberry cake? That sounds yummy. What did you make? Is that Mickey Mouse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm measuring the things. It's just too big. I'm <laughs> sorry. I think I just made it. it Liam, Liam, I want this. Is a ch my chopper. Nice. <laughs> and I have a pile of laundry. This is all clean that needs to be sorted, but I have a couple more loads to do. But the first load of laundry that I'm going to do today is actually our sheets. So we have these linen sheets. We do linen sheets year round, but I just kind of change out the colors. We have a dark charcoal pair that's on our bed right now, but for springtime I like to lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to be doing some spring cleaning and some spring decorating today. And this time of the year is when I bring out these light blush colored sheets, but they've been in storage for the rest of the year. So I'm going to get these washed just like on a quick cycle. They don't need to be laundered, just kind of freshened up a little bit. So I'm going to pop these in the washing machine, strip the bed and wash those sheets and store them and then do some more laundry. It is never ending in this house. Okay, the house is absolutely crazy right now. Even as crazy as my hair. <laughs> yeah, look at your hair. You know what? Hmm. Smelling that freshly cut grass out there from my neighbors is inspiring me to cut my lawn. Oh gosh. Because it is getting long and the whole like springtime feeling of where the sun's coming out. And then it rains, it comes back out. Yeah. All on the same day, it's causing it to grow really fast. <laughs> Her like grass, my hair apparently. <laughs> Her grass is growing like an inch a day. It's the perfect weather. So. <laughs> That being said, I think I'm gonna go mow the lawn. Okay, okay. sounds good. Nice. Yes, well, you mow the lawn. Nothing yeah. like the peer pressure of living in a neighborhood to make you mow yes. the lawn. Yeah, especially with like no acreage. So yeah. <laughs> next time, maybe we'll get acreage. Yep. We'll see. That's what we're hoping for the next place we live. But he's gonna go mow the lawn, and I'm gonna get started with the cleaning that I need to do. Hopefully the kids won't make messes as fast as I can clean them because we're kind of in that mood right now, if you know what I mean. So it looks like my um, bed linens that I'm going to be putting onto the bed are done. I'm gonna go strip the bed of the dirty linens, get those washing. I think I'm gonna wash my duvet cover too because um, okay. it's time. I do that like every two weeks.
taking little sips at a time. I stepped out there to get some footage of Weston mowing the lawn and it inspired me just to open up the windows in the house to get that fresh cut grass smell in here. It's like one of my favorite scents in the whole wide world. Something about just opening those windows up after the mowing is done, it just makes me feel like a kid again. I don't know what it is, but the smell of fresh cut grass makes me feel like it's the weekend, dad is home, he's mowing the lawn, we're all spending time outside, it's starting to get sunny again. And when you've been cooped up in the house, like like most of the world is lately, it's nice to kind of get that sort of inspiration, which is a perfect segue into the sponsor of today's video. Thanks so much to Grove Collaborative for sponsoring today's video and for helping me get my house nice and clean and spruced up for the springtime. I'm actually using their Mrs. Myers um, trio here. This is the multi-surface spray, the dish soap, and the hand soap, and this is in the fresh cut grass scent. When I saw that Grove had this scent, which this scent, the fresh cut grass from Mrs. Myers, is actually exclusive to Grove. You can't get it anywhere else. I was so excited to be able to order these because like I said, this is literally one of my favorite scents in the entire world, and it's uncanny. This scent, smells just like what I'm naturally smelling outside right now. Grove Collaborative is a wonderful place to find some awesome cleaning supplies and products for your home. They also have some health and wellness stuff too, which is really cool. I have been ordering through them on my own, not like as a sponsorship, for over a year now. Actually, one of my friends, not on YouTube, recommended them to me and she just loves their prices and what they stand for. They're a certified B corporation. All of their cleaning products are really thoughtfully formulated. They're sustainable. They're all plant-based, which is the stuff that I like to bring into my home on a regular basis. I've enjoyed a lot of the brands that they carry for years and years. And so it's great to be able to find a place where all of that sort of lives and their product prices cannot be beat. They price match everything, which I think is really cool of them. From the cleaning products themselves, to like the accessories and stuff that they sell, like this cute little cleaning caddy, and like they have sponges and towels and all sorts of stuff. Those little bubble up scrubber dishes that I've shown in my videos over this last year. I always get questions on them. I'm actually gonna be refilling the soap in them today with this fresh cut grass scent. Um, I got those from Grove a while ago and I've been loving them and using them all the time. They've really helped me keep my house nice and fresh and sparkling clean. And I know that I'm bringing products into my house that are better for our environment and better for our home. So for those of you who've never signed up for a Grove before, this is the perfect time to do so, especially with spring cleaning and keeping our house nice and sparkling during this time of the year. There is a link in my description box to grove.co slash Natalie Bennett spring 20. And when you sign up with that link, you get the Mrs. Myers set for free with your first purchase. So it's the hand soap, the dish soap, the multi-surface spray, they'll throw in a set of these walnut scrubber sponges which are absolutely the best and you get a 60 day free VIP trial to Grove which means that you can continue to make purchases of cleaning products and other health and wellness things for your family. I absolutely love Grove and it's so nice to be able to work with them on today's video so I'll let you guys go check out that link in my description box and right now I am going to do some cleaning around here. Outside matches the smell of the house now, too. 
fun grassy spring. <laughs> multi-surface it really means that I can literally clean everything in this house with this even like my appliances like the stainless steel and then also like countertops I use this on the floors to do like spot cleaning on my hardwood floors it's amazing <music> Now this half of my house looks sparkling clean. All the window tracks are looking good. But this half of my house on the other hand looks like three little tornadoes blew through it. What are those tornadoes names? Well, Lemon, Judah, and Haley. Yep, that's right. Thank you for getting them lunch. By the way, I appreciate that. Made them some sandwiches. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up, maybe do a little plant care, maybe some Easter decorating. What are you gonna do? Go to the dump. <laughs> Get an ice cream headache from a protein shake. So yeah, Weston's gonna do our dump and donation run. My hair's looking a little crazy. Thankful that we're all staying healthy and safe and that we have a nice halfway clean home to enjoy. Il me que ce matin le soleil peine à colorer le ciel voudrait prolonger les vacances Partir en The majority of the cleaning is done. I'm letting the kids just keep going on with their mess in the living room because it's keeping them happy. I have one load of laundry left to do. I'm waiting on it so that I can sort everything once it's done. So right now I'm gonna kill a little time and take care of this plant. This is my new fiddle leaf fig. I actually adopted this. There was a porch pickup on Facebook Marketplace. A nice old lady was getting rid of it. She says she just didn't have time to take care of another kid and her, her mothering days were over is what she said on her little post and I thought that was cute. I've got to dust him off. Definitely not much of an artist, but they're okay with my Mom. rudimentary drawing of an Easter egg. Well, Dad will love this. Dad will love that. He'll love to see you doing that. Painting is very serious business for Liam because he's standing to do it. Ooh, I like that pretty blue. Dude has got some purple Dad, going on. It. Oh, oh, don't no. see it, Dad. Don't look. <laughs> don't look. Apparently, the paintings are going to be surprises Mama, for you. Mom and Dad. I was gonna sit down and paint with them, and they're like, no, you have to leave. This is going to be a surprise. Sorry, you're too tall for the camera. It's okay. So I'm taking this opportunity to do some laundry. You wanna help? No, I will. <laughs> With you. Whose is this one? 
Mine. Judah's. This one's mine. And that's Liam's. And that one is Haley's. You guys did such a good job. <laughs> Typically, Judah Haley's is the mine. draw inside mm -hmm. the line sort of kiddo. But Liam did more of that this time. And Judah got oh, a bit more abstract. Hand. Yeah, we need to wash your hands. Okay, everyone, go to your sink in your bathroom and go wash your hands, please. You have paint all over them. Mama, I can't wait to open up the decor. <sighs> As a mom, things can take a very fast turn into the um, insane. I feel like I'm going insane sometimes, and I just about 10 minutes ago told the kids, I need a break from you. So I promptly sent them to their bedrooms before I exploded. Spend all day cleaning and then it's just one mess after another and breaking up fights and all of that. Ugh. Feeling a little bit better. We're ready to put some decor out. I like to include the kids on this because they enjoy it. What does your shirt say? Can you tell me what your shirt says? Pinching peeps. No, it says hanging with my peeps. Hanging hey, with my peeps. And Judah has the same shirt on. Hanging with my peeps. <laughs> we have this tote out of the garage. I keep my home decor out there. And Make this sure one isn't very full. Play. I don't have too much uh, hey. spring and like Easter decor, but I picked up just a couple of other pieces yeah. to round out our collection. Oh, those are cute. Weston's already arranging some. Three bunnies, like my three little kids. <laughs> other stuff in here, like little books, a wreath. Are you ready to help me decorate a little bit? No. Yeah! Work from home, they said. <laughs> you too can take pictures of bunny rabbit pillows. <laughs> guys having for dinner? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. The last time we were able to go to Costco before everything shut down in our state, they had these on sale, which is our favorite. This is the Annie's shells and white cheddar. That looks so yummy. So that's what the kids are having for dinner tonight. Typically I share more like food inspo in my day in the life videos, but not this time. It's been one of those days. One of them. It's been a serve your children mac and cheese for dinner and get Take out Thai food. Mm, yeah. <laughs> sort of day. My hair is just so weird right now. It's quarantine hair. Quarantine hair. I mean, look at your hair. And I pretty much cried any makeup that I had left on off while the kids were dancing and worshiping to that Seeds family worship. We watch, they have a YouTube channel and, and my sister I think knows some of the people over there personally. They did like an on, online Sunday service for kids with like worship music and stuff and a message and it was really encouraging. I mean, it was for kids but they also had a little message in there for adults and it's the Bible so you can apply it to any stage in life. So I'm gonna link that in the description box for you guys. Let's be real. We are not affected as much as other people during this situation and that, that is such a blessing like I already work from home yeah. and I am not scared 
that we're going to struggle or anything because you don't have work right now. Right. Like we are not in the position that some people are in, which I can't even imagine. Like, how are we going to pay our mortgage? Because my husband lost his job. Like that's, we are right. not in that situation. I'm so grateful for that. But there is a certain amount of anxiety in the world right now for anyone. Yeah. And as I was just like going around the house and cleaning and the kids were stressing me out, I just felt more and more stressed and, and more and more anxious and just at the end of my rope, basically. Please put it down. That is not a toy. Those are decorations. Stuff like that all day long. But then to watch the kids just like with no, nothing holding them back, just singing actual scripture. It just brought tears to my eyes. I not just br brought tears to my eyes. I was actually bawling. And even though we have like little worries or this or that, or it's just strange that you're out of a job for right now. I mean, that that's just, we've never experienced that before. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I am thankful that you were home to watch the kids doing that. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's special because, yeah. I mean, to be a child and see life the way a child sees it is one, yeah. scriptural, and two, it's, there's so much purity and innocence to it that they don't, they don't worry about, you know, basic life right now. Like, yeah. they, don't, they don't have anything, they just focus on what they're hearing, what they're seeing, and put their eyes there and I think we need to do that more often in our yeah. life you know just put but the truth in our eyes exactly yeah. and put the focus on the um, focus on the end game rather than the focus on right now yeah surviving so, kingdom minded would yes. be the word they use for that <laughs> oh my gosh it's so fun to hear them talk with each other most of the day they were just fighting though yeah Good you're time. done with dinner? Okay, what do you do when you're done with dinner? Uh, put away my bowl. Put away your bowl, yep. <laughs> so I think for the rest of the evening, we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, get the kids in bed, and then I'm gonna say goodbye to this uh, day in the life vlog because I kinda just wanna put the camera away, eat some food, and hang out with my work partner. You have a noodle on the ground, Haley. Uh oh, pick up oh, the noodle. Pick up, eat it. pick up the noodle. Brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth after every meal. That's what I'm saying. Brush your teeth after every meal. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this nice day. Please help us have a good, restful, sleepy, and wake up tomorrow happy and healthy. And please keep everyone we love safe. In Jesus' name. Oh, amen. <laughs> this is what I ordered for takeout. This is called Thai Angel. It's like rice noodles that's angel hair pasta with curry spices and veggies and chicken in it. This is like two meals worth, so I'll have a good lunch tomorrow. And we got some rice. What did you order, Weston? Pad Thai. Weston ordered Pad Thai. How very American of you. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for today, seeing a day in my life, especially with the hubby along. That was a nice new change to things. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more day in the life vlogs here over on my channel, let me know what you like seeing in these videos as far as the stuff that I include of our day. I like to make videos to look back on my life, but I also like to make videos that you guys want to see. So your feedback is always appreciated. I guess it's time for dinner now, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for watching today's video and thanks again to Grove for sponsoring a portion of it. Be sure to check out that link in my description box to get your free Mrs. Myers gift set with your first purchase through Grove. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn the bell button on. <laughs> Thanks for spending part of your day here with me and I'll catch you later.